Hey, what's up, Cool Like That peeps? It is me, your Cool Like That agent in the house. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Hopefully, you guys are doing great out there. Um, I am about ready to hit the sack, but I wanted to do a quick little video regarding um, uh, having cheat days and cheat meals because I know it was on my plate and to, to do right in the future, but since it's on everybody's minds right now and one of my favorite channels, Muscle Connections, made this, uh, made this video regarding it, um, I wanted to... Kind of put my in input on it and what what I think about having cheat meals and cheat days. But before I start that, I want to let you guys know that I did put up a video um, yesterday regarding, uh, not regarding, but basically of us opening up our gifts. And I know that it's been a m over a month um, since Christmas, and but it's lost footage, people. I forgot that we had I had this footage and we recorded the moment of us opening up our gifts and us getting surprised of what we got each other. So I wanted to kind of um, share that with you. It's 17 minutes long, so you guys don't have to really watch everything, but if you guys want to cut back, cut to the middle portion or the ending portion, you guys get to see um, what Andre got for his Christmas, uh, his big Christmas gift, and he got me for a, a big Christmas gift. So if you guys want to check that out, it's uh, it was yesterday's video, so check it out. But anyways, talk talking about it, um, so I, I – my. Buddy on Muscle Connections uh, basically talked about this, and he is awesome, people. So if you guys have not subscribed to him yet, and I think he really deserves more followers. And if you guys are health nuts, or if you guys want to want to get fit, this person gives more of a scientific and more of approach that it, it it's more com also comedic, but also it, he gives much of a, a great approach to to all this fitness. Um, fitness myths and a lot of uh, things that people have questions on and let me tell you this person the reason why it sounds so familiar to a lot of the information he's also in the midst of his personal fitness training exam okay so this person is actually getting his fitness, uh, personal training also I don't know what Andre just sent me he just sent me something whatever Andre I'm not going to um, <laughs> God, just, he always distracts me every single time when I'm doing a video. He always distracts me. But he he's studying for his personal training exam, and about the around the same exact time that I'm actually um, going for my exam, and I'm having the shitload of hardest time trying to study and making sure that I get a good grade. So hopefully I can do it. I'm gonna start creating flashcards, and hopefully I can try to retain all that that information but one, one day it's just going to click and i'm going to be able to um, just know the information but um cheat meals or cheat um cheat days i truly believe in cheat meals i don't believe in cheat days and the reason for that is and i did um, i mentioned this when i was in when i had a personal trainer in hawaii and I said, is it okay to have a cheat day? And I was like, and he was like, oh, no, 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 no. We don't do cheat days. We do cheat meals. And the reason I believe, and th this is for coming from me, is that when you do have a cheat day, people, you, you tend to start eating a lot more than you should be. Okay. And if your, your macros are 1,800 calories, uh, 1800 calories and you're eating more <laughs> than you should be you're gonna have to burn a lot more calories off to meet your calorie count okay and for me it's okay to have that cheat meal especially when you're having that craving it's not all the time you're gonna have a cheat meal it's it's that time when you're having that craving and you really don't want to move on with life because you need to have a piece of fried chicken <laughs> then it's okay to have a cheat meal all right, but just remember, the more you put into your body, the more you're going to have to burn out. Okay, so you're going to have to kind of um, be, <laughs> Andre, I'm going to kill you. You're going to have to kind of measure out whatever you need to do, especially if you're you're on a strict calorie count. All right, if you're going to have a cheat day, then just remember, you're going to start eating a lot more than your your calorie count, either. A lot of people, especially if they're having a cheat day, they don't even log in their calories. And I, I, I'm, I, I'm guilty of that. 
Okay, I'm guilty of that. I'm going to tell you this much that some, some days I just get lazy and don't want to log in my calories. But it's very important when, when you have a strict calorie count, you want to try to make sure that you're, you're sticking to it. Uh, but if you're, you're having that craving and that you need that, that, that fried chicken or you need that ice cream bar or you need something that's more than what, what is allotted to you, go ahead and have it. It's okay. Sometimes when you have that much of a craving, it, it does bring your your uh, your positivity down a little bit because I, I'm so stuck on this diet that I can't eat this, this, and this. But you know what? Eat what you need to do, okay? There's times where some people will backslide and just, you know, they need to have it. And for me, I, I get to the point where I need to have some grease in my life. <laughs> it's okay to have some grease in your life, people. So, uh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay to have a cheat meal. I stay away from the cheat days because the more you put in, the more calories you have to burn off. And that's the reason why it's not okay because a lot of people forget that they have a calorie count and if they have a cheat day, they eat more than what they need to. They binge eat. Okay, so they uh, pretty much you're, you're eating a lot more calories than you should be. All right, but that's my take. It's okay to ha have those little cheat meals here and there not all the time but it's okay to have those all right so if you guys have any questions about that uh or you disagree hey you there's people that disagree you guys can disagree all you want put it in the comments or you can dislike my video i don't care uh pretty much uh that's my my whole whole point of view i try to come from more of a personal standpoint and a lot of sometimes um, a more scientific standpoint too um but i want to try to um, give you guys what my personal views are also but i will catch you guys all later i love you guys and i will see you guys next time bye